Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spielfreunde and Fellowship. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is our unboxing and review of Dane Ironfoot, Lord of the Iron Hills on the uh, on foot and of course on his wonderful pig uh, also known as Rocket Sausage. Now um, this is a very special unboxing. This is the first character model Games Workshop has produced uh, since 2015 spring, yeah, so one and a half years ago. Um, <coughs> it is an expensive model, I have not taken that into account on my final score, uh, but rest assured I think it's worth it. So let's have a look at this um, this uh, review, and uh, if everything I have heard is correct, this model will come up on the Forgel website for pre-order along with the Warriors and the Blister we did a review of yesterday and the day before uh, on Friday, this Friday. So let's do it! So welcome to the main event. This is the unboxing of Dane Ironfoot, Lord of the Iron Hells on, Adam Truck would say, Rocket Sausage. This is of course the War Pig as well. So this is an interesting box. Uh, it is the first of the character series boxes from Forge Old. It has the Hobbit and Lord Rings uh, logos on it with structure battle game underneath. A nice scripture. Uh, this is of course the Black Speech of Mordor written on the ring. And you have the map of Middle-earth behind. It continues onto the sides of the map as well. So they have Rune, Sea of Rune, and here Dane of the Iron Hills, batch number, everything, made in the UK. Middle Earth Enterprises, New Land Cinema, MGM Games Workshop. Okay, shall we open this? Inside you will find a uh, blister backing with the assembly instructions on the back. It does come in 5, 10, 12, 13 parts. So it has two scenic bases, three parts of the war pig, four parts of the, um, five parts of Dane on, um, on the pig and three parts of the Dane on foot. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. I didn't have time to look at the model itself. I did look at Jay Clare's um, painted one. Um, but I really, really want to have a look at inside this now. Okay, so you have some protective foam. Let's have a look at this pig. So the fur quality, even underneath the model, is spectacular. You have the intricate Iron Hills design on the armor on all flanks. The tusk looks... Yeah, looks to be fine. It is so very, very fine. It is so very, very good, this sculpt. Do you have... Oh yeah, it's a stamp. I thought it was... I thought on the butt of the model it was like uh, poor casting. But it is a, that is like a stamp on the metal. And there's a hole in his bum for his... Uh, his, uh, his tail. So I can't really see any modeling lines, mold, mold lines at all on this model. The snout looks good, the eyes look good. It is based on a Kuni Kuni, so it doesn't really have eyes, it just have like recesses where it eyes should be. And then the rest of the, um, the front of the model will be added on, uh, on the top plate armor. 
Okay, so that's that's this. Looking good so far. Looking very good. So here we have the top part of the uh, of the pig. We have the ears with the arm on top. And it must be because the model is a bit crooked, because this is a bit crooked as well. We'll just have a look at that. Yeah, it it slightly tilts his head, and that's why this will be slightly crooked as well. It's done in segments of the armor, so it will fit naturally with this as well. Again, crisp detail on the armor. No problems with this at all so far. Knock on wood. Okay, let's go to the um, where is his uh, his tail? Oh, so we have the bases, we have the one on foot, the mounted one. We have the back of the maces. There is his tail. Awesome. So the tail has snapped off. Should be on this sprue. The tail has snapped off, but it's a clean snap. So there's no problems here at all. It is so small, it is so tiny. There's the tail. Tiny. Oh, I, I saved it. <laughs> so the tail is fine. Yeah. Good. I'll put it back into the box so I don't lose it. So this is the back of his hammer. Two backs because of this will cost two hammers. One for the mounted one and one for the one on foot. And it is so good. The casting quality again. Couldn't ask for more. It is so crisp. It's so fine. It does, it does so, um, is so worth the price, I think, on a personal note. It is £40, but I think the quality alone does it for me. So you have the rock you're standing on, and this is quite good actually, because I'm doing very similar things with my bases. So this is one of the very few scenic bases I could actually use in my armies. Fine rock, I will have to put on a bit more uh, of my the sand I use because the base is it, smaller than the actual 40mm base. So I will have to fill up with some sand on the sides. That will do nicely. We have the scenic base for the one on foot. Now, I generally don't like to have stuff on my scenic bases, but it's just his, um, his helmet. So it, it's part of his model. So that will do it for me. Uh, again, I can use the scenic base because it is a rock and I do rocks on my bases. Uh, right, so the main body of, um, of Dane comes in three parts. You have the cloak. Oh, sorry. You have the cloak itself. Such fine detail on the cloak. It looks so good. And then you have the main body. Holding the top of the reins on the pig. The two tusks in his beard is such finely pointed. And then of course we have the top part of his uh, headgear. Well, that looks to be an exact re replica of the one on foot. Uh, 
there we go so this point is in the front and it goes back across the the head gear and then finally I'll just this is a tiny bit so I'll just put it back in the box and then finally we have Dane on foot which I if it was even possible this is better than the mounted one the pose the cloak even under the legs the cloak goes the, the braids in his beard the finely pointed tusks in his uh, in his um, uh, moustache the small ridge on the top of his head the detail on that face it's just immense his ears here the fur on his cloak yeah it does look absolutely stunning give it a glamour shot So, I'm so tempted to do all of these models now. So, this is my review of, um, of Dane. It is one of the most, if not the most, detailed character sculpt in Games Workshop SPG history. So, uh, so I'm very happy. Uh, I think... Uh, I will only do a, a thing for the, the actual model quality. I will not include the price. Um, it is £40, that's that's no secret. But it, that the price will not uh, adjust my, my score of the model. Uh, I think it is worth £40. Uh, it is £5 higher than what I expected it to be at maximum. But then again, the they have to get the the money back, and due to everyone, nobody is going to buy more than one of these, and that's the thing with characters. That's why they're more expensive as well. So there are no well, there are no no roughness on the models. All the details are crisp. Uh, none of the parts are snapped. Uh, no mold lines to consider. The detail is absolutely stunning. The pose looks so great. The pig is fantastic. I will have to give it nine point nearly a ten. It is nearly a ten. Nearly a ten out of ten. Only reason I'm not giving a perfect score is the the pose on the pig does look exactly like when it's trotting down from the mountain towards the elven lines, but it's a bit static. It is ever so slightly static. That's the only thing I'm I'm a bit bit disappointed by, but not at all really. So, a near perfect score, um, concluding my review of Dane Ironfoot, uh, Ballista and Warriors, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Okay, so as always guys, please comment, like, share and subscribe, and do support your Hobbit hobby.